YouTube family. Hey, yeah, got to do the same thing. Oh, uh, yeah, got to do the same thing for you. Yeah, got to do the same thing for me. Yeah, got to do the same thing. And he could, because even in the hood here, make you feel good. Yeah, got to do the same thing. And he could, because even in the woods here, make you feel good. So come and change these broken wings. I need your hands to come and heal me once again. So I can fly until the end of time. Uh, yeah, got to do the same thing. Uh, yeah, got to do the same thing for you. Okay. You see, they say monkey see, monkey do. Or birds of a feather flock together. But I like the feather. I do. It plays an important role in flight. Yeah, one of its purpose is to catch wind and soar. So I would say feathers in flight can reach new heights or places. You get the hint. Today's video is about how do we overcome being a product of our environment? How do we overcome being a product of our environment? Now, what is this? What is this product of our environment? And how do we overcome this? But what is it, though? It's a condition. It's the becoming of. It's what one reciprocates. It's a display of behavioral patterns. It's the relationship between you and your surroundings, a product of our environment. Now, how do we overcome this? How do we overcome being a product of our environment? It's an author by the name of Darren Hardy. He wrote a book called The Compound Effect, where he says the people in a situations we surround ourselves with shape the way we feel, think and act. He went on to add that even the content we consume plays a major role, like the news, what we read, even the music we listen to so on and so on a product of our environment now how do we overcome this how do we overcome being a product of our environment and first i would say pay attention to the details yeah pay attention to your surroundings this is how you overcome being a product of our environment you know, do some pruning and doing some pruning will this helps you cut away the unwanted. This is how you overcome being a product of our environment. Pruning will help you improve and encourage your growth. The cutting will help you see, give you a better view on where you're heading <laughs> This is how you overcome being a product of our environment. Another way is recycle. Yeah. You want to make sure the garbage go into its rightful place, the trash. This is how you overcome being a product of your environment. Now, what do I mean by to recycle? So I'll tell you a story. I'm from the inner city and my grandmother is also from the inner city and she moved to the country when I was around eight, nine years old. My brother was around 10, 11. And when we will visit her, you know, we noticed that it wasn't so kid friendly. It wasn't no basketball course. It wasn't even sidewalks. So me and my brother would walk to the store for activity. And one day he was like, hey, you notice? There ain't no police. 
that was one of the first thing we noticed. It wasn't any police. Because where I'm from, this is something you see all day. Is conflict and police patrolling. And so the reason I said recycle is because you this will reduce the likelihood of you tracking dirt into your new environment. This is how you overcome being a product in your environment. So when time I spent my whole childhood in the inner city and when I was in my late teens, my mom also moved. And she moved and we spent two months looking for a place and we moved in with my grandmother. And every day I will find a way or even walk to go back to the garbage environment. I wasn't allowing the new exposure to manifest. So allowing exposure to manifest is another way how you overcome being a product of your environment. And, you know, get rid of the pillows, remove the pillows is another way to overcome being a product of your environment. You know, step out of your comfort zone. You got to understand traveling is the best medicine for this. This is how you overcome being a product of our environment, of your environment. So, like I said, I will walk every day back to the inner city. Now, I love to travel. Now, I take the new things that I see and learn and bring them to people that need help with their growth. You are looking at an overcomer. This is what overcoming looks like. It looks like you. It looks like her. It looks like him. It looks like them. Overcoming looks like you. And when you remove the pillows and step out of your comfort zone, also remove the ego. Because you want to, when you enter these new environments, you start to realize People are doing a much better than what we were. What I thought was good isn't all that good. So you want to associate with people that's doing better than you. Yeah. And it takes a real humble soul to do this. This is how you overcome being a product of your environment. When you associate with people that's doing better than you, it helps you overcome the challenges. You will acquire some skills and some habits that's necessary to be to becoming a better version of yourself. This is how you overcome being a product of your environment. In the book of Psalms, it says, Lord, you is my refuge. You is my portion in the land of the living. Hear my cry. I am in desperate need. Rescue me from who pursue me. Set me free from my prison that I may praise your name. And then the righteous will gather about me because of your goodness to me. Overcomers. Sometimes, in most cases, we hold on to what we have outgrown. Don't let people make you feel bad when you realize that they or that thing or that place no longer serves you. Don't let stereotypes influence the kind of person you are. You are an overcomer and you are going places, high places. Don't let nobody tell you anything different. High five, like, subscribe, and share this video. Peace.